In this video, we want to split our data into separate columns and or rows. In my first example, I've got some comma separated values that I want to split into separate columns. And to do this, we're going to use a function available in Excel 365 called text split. The first argument in the text split function is text and that's the text you want to split. So I'm going to select cell A1, comma. The second argument is col delimiter. So if you want to split your data out into separate columns, you need to provide a column delimiter. Now our column delimiter is a comma. So I put my comma there in quotation marks, close the bracket, press enter, and I get my column headings in separate columns. All I need to do is copy this formula down and it will split the records into separate columns. It ought to fit my columns and I'm done. Now in this scenario, I want to do something different. I want to split the data into separate columns and rows. I'm going to have a column for the player name and a column for the score. Now the delimiter that separates the columns is the equal sign and the delimiter that separates the rows is this comma. Text split. Here's my text. My col delimiter is the equal sign. And my row delimiter is the comma. If I press enter, you can see it splits the data into rows and columns. Now there are a few issues here. I want to deal with this one first. It hasn't successfully split Justina's name from her score. And that's because Justina has a hyphen between her score and her name, whereas we've specified the equal sign as the column delimiter. What I want to do is say that the column delimiter could either be an equal sign or a hyphen. So what I do is I, in brace brackets, Specify that the col delimiter can be either an equal sign, comma, or a hyphen. And now it's successfully split Justina's name from her score. Now, Barbara doesn't appear to have a score, and you can see that that's the case there. We have the delimiter, the column delimiter, but we have no value after the equal sign. James is slightly different. We don't have an equal sign, we don't have the delimiter, and we certainly don't have his score. That results in an NA error. So how do we get round both of these problems? By default, TextSplit actually ignores this problem here with Barbara, where we have the delimiter, but no value after the delimiter. Let me just show you the setting for that. At the moment, we're using text, cold delimiter, and row delimiter. But the next argument is ignore empty. So the default for this argument is false, include empty cells. But if I chose true, I would get another NA. So true ignores empty cells. Now text split allows me to replace the NA error with a value of my choice. I might want to say, for example, missing score. And I can do that with the last argument called pad with. So the last argument we've currently used is ignore empty. And the next argument is match mode. Now this is to do with case sensitivity and by default, text split is case sensitive, but I'll come onto an exercise where this would be relevant later on. So we'll skip over that. As I said, the default is that it's case sensitive and we're on to pad width. And I could just type in my pad width value, missing score, obviously, because it's a text value, it needs to go in quotation marks. Now in this scenario, the row delimiter is a lowercase x, but I have one uppercase x in the mix here. So my text is in A2. My cold delimiter is either the equal sign or the hyphen. My row delimiter, I'm going to say, is X. Now I'm just going to close the bracket there and press Enter. 
and you can see that it makes quite a mess of it. And that's because by default, the text split function is case sensitive in terms of the delimiters. Now, if I turn that case sensitivity off, so I'm going to skip over ignore empty and then go to match mode, and I'm going to make it case insensitive, press enter, you can see that it successfully split the columns for me. I can then use my pad width argument to specify that there's a missing score. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you next video.